Hello and welcome to WCPL Lounge Acts. I'm your host, Austin Fast, and we're here today with Les Butcherettes. Uh, they're visiting Cincinnati. They uh, from El Paso, Texas, I think is where they're currently at. Um, they're wrapping up, up a tour right now. They've been on the road for about three weeks going around the U.S. Uh, they're performing tonight. That's Thursday, June 22nd at the Taft Theater. I think at 8 p.m. you can check it out. Tickets are $12 in advance, $15 at the door. Um, so first we're going to hear a couple songs from them. Uh, hang around after these songs so we can hear a little bit more about the group and what they do, where they're going with their band, how they got started, all those sorts of fun things. Um, so first let's hear uh, Malcolm. And then after that, we're going to hear Spider Waves. So this is Les Butcherettes for WCPL Lounge Axe. <laughs> Show my 
myself up I've been sold to a man Who never loved me So that was Le Butcherettes with uh, the first one. The first one was called uh, Malcolm. It's not out yet. Mm -hmm. We don't know what it's going to be on, but it's new <laughs> material because, cool. you know, you keep playing old songs and you get sick of them. So, mm -hmm. so we, had, we start with Malcolm, and what was the second and one called the again? The second one is called Spider Waves. Spider Waves. Uh -huh. And again, we don't know what's going to happen with that, but it's, it's new material that, that we wrote on while being on tour. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing this new material with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so like I said, you can see uh, Les Butcherettes tonight. They're going to be at the Taft Theater in Cincinnati, uh, 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, can you introduce your band for me? Let's see. Who do we have here? First, start of with course. yourself. Do I use microphones? Yes. Can you? Okay. Well, I am Terry Genderbender. This is Alejandra Robles Luna. On the drums. On the drums, of course. And this is Ricardo Rodriguez Lopez on the bass, guitar, synth, sampler, etc. Does a little bit of everything. Does there. a little bit of everything. I oh. do guitar here, as you can tell. Right. And some keys that I got in a, I don't know if I can say the name of the store, but it's <laughs> everywhere. You can find it everywhere. There you go. And it lights up red, just like so much else <laughs> up here on the stage. What's, can you tell me a little bit about that? The, why all the red? Um, I think it has a lot to do with my obsession with death and violence, and, and uh, also sometimes violence is a necessary evil in this world, which I've been battling with that idea for a long time. I think everyone has all humanity, and so red is a reminder of the hunger of, of, of the violence that we came from. If it weren't for people's sacrifices, for, if it weren't for community, we wouldn't be here on the riches that we have now. Really, you know, so it definitely has some powerful symbolism there behind the color choice. And you, are you always, perf do you always perform in red? Um, no, it's, a, it's been changing constantly. Okay. Um, the band started out playing uh, in Meat. Actually, Lady Gaga stole that concert from <laughs> us. So thank you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm completely joking. But yeah, it's been com uh, completely. I'm a, we, we believe in, 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 in constant transformation. You don't want to uh -huh. be stuck on something for the rest of your life. Okay. So this is your red period. This is the red period. <laughs> so we'll see what's coming next. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Who knows yeah. what's next yeah. for Liquid Hopefully Trust. life is still ahead, though. That's, the, right. that's the one thing we can ho certainly hope for. Of course. Um, can you tell us a little bit? How did you, uh, so your, your, your birth name is not Terry Genderbender, as I understand. Yeah. yeah. Um, how did you become this, this uh, kind of alter ego of yourself? Can you tell us how, kind of that origin of that? Ooh, well, the, the origin sim simply is feeling the, the, the need to 
believe in oneself. And I never really believed in, in, in Teresa Suarez because, you know, the, the, the girl, me, my, me, I was bullied constantly and, you know, I lost my father at a young age, you know, just, you know, blah, 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 me, 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 little violin. So um, Terry Genderbender was something, that, uh, a doodle that I created. I, I loved uh, doodling uh, strong, powerful women mm -hmm. and, and that led me to my obsession with feminist literature and, and, and it got me thinking on the, on the whole bigger scale of, oh, okay, well, it's, it's not just music that I like doing music just because, you know, of like fame or ego, you know, or else, you, you know what I mean? I mean, mm -hmm. of course, there's always a little bit of ego and everything, but... But um, basically, Terry Genderbender was a, a doodle in a notebook of mine that I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the end. <laughs> and so then stupid. it came, it came into real life. And, I mean, uh, how, is, how is Terry Genderbender different from Teresa Suarez? And in, in reality, uh, not, not much different. They're both no. cowards. <laughs> cowards. Yeah. I, I didn't see a coward out there. I mean, the Terry Genderbender that I saw perform. I mean, you are you have so much energy. You're so. I mean, that's a. It's an entire performance. I mean, as you're not just playing instruments. I mean, you're you're covered in sweat right now from all the energy that you're expending. Um, so I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just my own personal. No, I opinion. think I think maybe the the expensive lighting. That could be part of it as well. <laughs> we might have to crank up the AC. No, that's good. No, no, but I'm not complaining. I like it. I like expensive lighting. Well, good. <laughs> I mean, do you do you keep up that energy throughout an entire um, throughout your entire performance? I think so. We have to. We, we kind of always put. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a yes? No, we, we we keep each other motivated and pumped up to just be consistent. Try mm -hmm. to be consistent, consistent, and always give her 110 percent because awesome. we're very lucky to do this. You know, where we get to be on the road, meet new people. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what else? To eat a lot, as you can tell. Oh, come on. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy life at first because, again, you never know how long you're going to have it. Right. Well, you guys have been on the road for, you said, three weeks now. Uh, we, you've been, part of this has been with at the drive-in. Exactly. Right? How has that been? Have you... Amazing, amazing. They're, they're, they're like family. So yeah. being on the road with them is always very welcoming. Um, their crew is also like family. They always help us load in as well, mm -hmm. which they don't even have to do any of that. Um, actually, their lighting technician does our lights for us as well. So it's very, it's very connected, very, um, it's, uh, you know, it's genuine. You know, we're with awesome. two touring bands that tour with each other because they actually like hanging out with each other on and off stage. What do you think the, uh, what's the best part of the tour band so far? What is the absolute highlight for you? Oh, the absolute highlight? Honestly, honestly, being here with you guys. Oh. Yeah, right? What did you say so? Okay, if you say so. Yeah. I mean, he, since he, I, ever, he hardly ever smiles. Look, that that was genuine. That was genuine. That was genuine. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and especially you, you saved the best for last here in Cincinnati. I mean, this is the end of the tour before you guys head back to El Paso. But I'm, seriously, that wasn't a pa beauty, a beauty pageant answer. Like, oh, be here. No, this oh. is you know, it's really cool. Like, everyone put in a little bit of their time to make this happen. Well, we so. love having you guys. You know, traveling bands come in here. We we love bringing these to our audience here in Cincinnati, and. Uh, you know, thank you for spending the time to do this. Thank you um, for having us. I want to talk a little bit about your, your shows. I mean, they're, you're known for, like I already said, lots of energy and sometimes um, some kind of unconventional things. Um, I've heard, I've, I haven't seen, I've just heard for, um, that you guys perform in blood. There was once a pig's, pig's head. Something like that. That was ages ago. Ages that was, ago? That was uh, when the band first started. That's the, okay. the meat era. As the I meat call it. era. Yeah, okay. yeah. Be you did and, and, that. and it went so much deeper. I mean, it's really easy to see that and, and, mm -hmm. and, and make it and, and label it a gimmick, mm -hmm. which are probably, I don't, I don't mind that either. That's art is open to inter interpretation, different reactions. But, but the feeling behind it, the sentiment was that, again, I felt like a useless piece of meat. It was more, much more, it was my way of healing myself by, by mocking that. Mm -hmm. and, and also while reading the feminist literature and, and, and being in Mexico, and, and just up the north in Juarez, there's all these kidnapped, the kidnapped women of Juarez, the Las Muertas de Juarez. So it was like women are still to this day being like treated and objectified such as pieces of meat, mm -hmm. except sometimes meat is respected a little bit more. You feel like that. And that, and I can go on forever, but then I'll be labeled a hysterical, crazy woman, oh, which has on. happened. Well, I, I don't mean, blame them either. You can't stop it. You, you know, sometimes you can't stop people. From necessary. What it's think. necessary. Evil and good. All these energies are necessary. So you kind of, do you say you've moved out of that phase or? You have to, you can't be smelling like meat forever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were a little worried. I didn't know if that was going to, you know, if you're going to bring that back just for our visit, we'd have to, you know, swab, uh, clean up, clean up after that. That'd be, I had a coworker who told me I needed to wear a jacket or a poncho or something. Oh, 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 <laughs> so, um, but I mean, if, you know, if that's part of your art and you know, you know, that's all up to you. Um, do you. Someone suffered that before <laughs> you, not, not you not, no, no. what's um what's the would you say is the craziest thing that you've done during a performance oh my the craziest thing I uh, I don't know I, 
really don't know. There's there's so many things from the dislocated shoulders in the audience. In Mexico, no one sued, and, and the guy was very sweet about it That because uh, he, he understood, you know, like, you know, when you're in the stage, you you know, you, your animal comes out, or, or, some, or when you do something you love, your animal comes mm-hmm. out. And so yeah. he, 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 you know, he was very open to that idea and he's like well you know uh, you, Wait, of so course his, he dislocated his my shoulder dislocated? yeah it's like i picked him up on my back and i threw him on the floor and he dislocated it but he was he was he wasn't mad that's good that's good that's good Ooh. it could have been yeah, horrible could have, could have been yeah bad. it felt horrible oh, man, but i don't good. think that's the craziest thing that's just that's the thing that that that's woke me up mind. to reality of being more careful oh okay yeah. So you kind of had, did you... Yeah, after that, you try to tone it down a little bit. You imagine really? you're dislocating someone's shoulder in front of you. You don't want to... Just... I mean, if it's in the heat of the moment and the yeah. passion of your art, you know, sometimes you just yeah. can't control that, yeah, that's I true. guess. That's true. Um, do you, it seemed like you were making eye contact. I don't know if other people out here in the room yeah. felt like that, but I felt like you were making eye contact with, with everyone out yeah. there. Is that something you consciously try to do as you're performing? Yeah, you need human elements, you know? Uh, you need to steal from people. <laughs> steal some... <laughs> steal some something, I don't know. Some everyone, energy or... Everyone inspires something, so... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a two-way street. Okay. Yeah, energy, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, c- I could feel it. I'm sure the people on Facebook Live who are watching right now could feel it. I'm sure the people at the Taft Theater tonight are going to feel it. Hopefully. Or at least I hope. Um, so this tour, you, you said you named it Graffiti Amargo, right? And... Can you, you explain a little bit before we started what that meant to you? Can yeah. you tell us? Because right now uh, we felt like this. Well, this is a new chapter. Because before all of us, you know, we we were red. Alejandra, she, she joined the band recently. Mm-hmm. It's, it's almost been a year now that she's in it, so it's a new chapter. So, um, graffiti amargo for me represents the the daily ba- uh, the daily bitter graffiti that we see on the walls that we still have to see. You know, uh, I'm sorry, I'm very nervous. I'm repeating a lot of words. English is not my first language. So, you know, we were in Dublin one day and, and we saw, uh, I can't say the words, but the, you know, by F-A-G, you know, really big. And, and, then, and, then, and, and then there's also some other uh, uh, elements, like in Mexico, when you say diga, in, in Mexico you see so many, so many bitter graffiti, you know, just because you see that stuff on the internet so much, but when you see it in the flesh and in, in, in your real life, you know, the, the, this, this amargo, this big amargues, amarguesa, you, 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 you take it to the heart. So the, the tour is not promoting anything. It's just it has th- those themes in mind of, okay. Something that's stuck still there. To you. Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you can almost feel the bitterness or the anger of the people the who people are, are just, expressing yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 I'm, and it's not taking sides around anything. It's just something that you see on okay. the streets. You know? Gotcha. And you yeah, said yeah. that that's not necessarily the title of the next album, but. No, we don't know what it will be. Okay. Yeah. When, uh, when can we expect to see some more music from you guys, another album? Uh, we go back into the studio as w- when we finish tour. We, we be home with family for a couple of weeks into the studio and then uh, new music out by early next year. All right. So we don't have too much longer to wait, I guess. No. Awesome. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> right? You make plans and then, and then something changes them uh-huh. or something. Awesome. Um, so yeah, and those two, uh, whoops, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But those two songs that you heard just a little bit ago, those are, I'm assuming going to be on the ne- next upcoming album. Hopefully. Um, along with some others. Uh, where do you get the inspiration? Cause during that, especially that part, um, where it was quiet and just you singing, I mean, those lyrics are very, very intense. Um, I think I remember something about uh, a husband who never loved, I think, I think that's what I heard. Husband who never loved you. I know, that was improvised. Improvised. Yeah, yeah that, that in the moment. Sometimes the, the, the cool thing about us is that we can just feed off of each other's energy and improvise okay. something. And then, for example, Ricardo can save my, 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 my butt if I, if I make a mistake. Mm-hmm. So he will loop the same chord that I hit on mistake and we can make something out of that. Instead of just stopping and be like, oh, well, let's start the song all over uh-huh. again. You know, make it into a new version. Every song oh, we wow. play live every day, it's a new version of itself. It starts changing. So it's always brand new. Yeah, Something's yeah. always fresh coming yeah, from. Yeah, it's never going to sound like the record, unfortunately. Well, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> All right. Um, well, let's get back to the music then. Let's do one more. Okay, we'll do uh, one more. This one is going to be called uh, Shave the Pride. What, what's that? Shave the Pride. Shave the Pride. All right. So uh, this is Le Boucherettes for WCPO Lounge X. Thank you.
All right. So that was Le Butcherettes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming in. We appreciate it. All right. So if you like what you heard today, you can see uh, them tonight at the Taft Theater, 8 p.m. Tickets are $12 before, $15 at the door. Um, so if people want to find more of your music, how can they do that? Record stores, firstly, most importantly, and the internet. Any, what's, can you tell us your website? The website, um, there's uh, the Facebook uh, slash the, the Diagonal, diagonal the Butcherettes, L-E-B-U-T-C-H-E-R-E-T-T-E-S. Got it. So that's how, if you want to find their music, go check them out. Le Butcherette, she spelled it for you. Uh, if you like what you heard from WCPL Lounge Acts, you can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, anywhere uh, you get your podcasts. You, know, you can find more bands that uh, we've talked to when they've come here to the studio. And you can check out Surfer Blood. They're going to come here at 530 today uh, on Facebook Live. So if you want to hear them, come back. So thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Austin Fast, and we'll see you next time.